Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here, and this is Apollo, or this is, at least what I've named her, this is a Tesla Model S P100D. This is a brand new car, it's a new Tesla. You've probably heard of it, I've talked about it a lot before. I've mentioned it in videos, I've talked about it on Twitter, etc. So I just took delivery of this car, so as far as I'm concerned, and what Tesla told me is that this is the first P100D on the East Coast of the United States. Delivery was today that I'm shooting and editing this video, and uh, I want to share it with you guys. Now I'm also shooting this video, and as you can tell, a much more live style on the iPhone 7 Plus camera. So that's the stabilization, and that's the 4K video you're seeing. Figured this was a pretty good opportunity to test that. But yeah, this is sort of a, I, I kind of decided just to do these two videos at the same time. iPhone 4K camera test, Tesla P100D first impression. And I actually kind of think it would be fun to make this a sort of a beginning of a playlist. This would be the first video in an evolving playlist because this is a car that, as you probably already know, is really high tech. It's a piece of tech and it involves two. So this will be the first video in the playlist, if that makes sense. So uh, I guess give a thumbs up if you like that idea, but essentially this gives me a chance to test the 4K cameras on new smartphones and lets me show new features of the car as they come out. So this first video, this first video in the playlist is a sort of a walk around and a first look at the car. At the all electric car, for those of you who aren't familiar, this will give you a pretty good look. This is the key to the car. Autofocus, oh good job iPhone. This key fob will control everything about the car behind it as you can see. So there's actually buttons, it's the shape of the car, but if I double press the back of the car here, right behind it, it'll open up the back of the car. And there's plenty of storage in the back, like a lot of storage as you can see here. If you fold the seats down, it'll go even further. And there's also this little area in the bottom here, which will open up to get you even more storage. That's where I have my charging cable. And a big part of picking this vehicle over pretty much any other vehicle is that is huge for carrying equipment, for video equipment. Video equipment's big. I could close this by double tapping it again or just by reaching up here and pressing that button. And there's plenty of other features that I can go around, but there's also that little mini spoiler on the back. And then up here at the front of the car is what they call a front trunk or a frunk. That autofocus is good. Okay, so I double tap the front of the car and it pops that. This is an all electric car, so there's no physical engine either. It's just electric motors between the wheels and a battery, so there's a little extra storage space in there and some stickers and some windshield wiper fluid. Now here's the last fun part for a lot of you guys who don't know. Let me 2x zoom here. You can see the handles on the door are flat and flush to the car. When you have the key fob with you and you walk up to the car, it'll kind of detect that you're approaching it. It'll unlock it and the door handles come out and present themselves and that's how you get in. Now there's a lot of other things that I'm gonna show you guys with the software in future videos because this software right here is a big part of what makes this car run. This is the version 8.0 software already. And there's a whole lot of things that you can do with this touchscreen that, again, software updates will change. You have driving controls. You have the ability to open the sunroof just by scrolling down on that. I'm telling you, all the vehicle controls are in this big screen right here. So that's that could be a video all by itself if you want that. Now, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to be panning out this series into different videos, whether it's like three or four videos or like 10 or 20, but you can see here, I mean, this car has autopilot. The stock is right there. You can drive itself or you can drive like a normal person. The interior is a lot more spacious than you might imagine because there's no transmission to take up space in the middle. So there's this big old cup holder here. There's more stuff in the middle. And last thing I wanna mention, I'm a tech guy before I'm a car guy, but this is pretty much as high tech as it gets as far as cars go. So the P100D, P stands for performance. 100 stands for the size of the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack in the bottom of the car, and D stands for dual motors. And a little underline actually signifies that it's part of the uh, ludicrous mode fleet. This thing goes from a dead stop to 60 miles an hour in exactly 2.5 seconds. So that, that technically, technically makes this the fastest production car on planet Earth right now. Others like the Bugatti Veyron and Porsche 918 Spyder aren't really made anymore, so that thing if you're not in a Bugatti, you're getting beat off the line by it. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. Again, this is a super short video, but I wanted to share, and there's gonna be a lot more that I can share. And I guess, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below of what features of this car you wanna see outlined and highlighted on video, and what types of things you wanna see later in this playlist. So that's been it for this very short video, guys. Thank you for watching this first on Apollo, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.